Just a short demo video to show how HTML enables us to use conditional logic statements in our emails to personalize the content. So as HTML is already turned on in this account, we'll navigate from the dashboard here to marketing, to emails and access our email templates. So because we've turned on HTML, we now have this column upgraded and certain email templates have a green tick. This means that the tags used in the emails to personalize the content have been upgraded to HTML. So for this example, we'll use this email template draft here. And we'll go to edit email template. And we'll edit this section here. So as we know, customers are much more likely to engage with us when our messaging is personalized. And HTML allows us to use information from the prospect record to personalize our content just by inserting using the merge field picker. However, if a prospect record does not have a value for a field, then nothing will be displayed. So to avoid empty fields, we can either define a default value or we can create a conditional logic statement. So for this example, let's say we want our recipients to receive their first name in the greeting. And the greeting is, we've got good news for you. We then want comma, their first name before the end of the greeting. However, if we don't know their first name, it could just look exactly like this in the email template, in the email for them, with a space between the comma, so to prevent this, we can use a conditional logic statement. So we would use this one here. First of all, we're telling Pardoc what we want them to do. So this is the part of the if after the hashtag here. So this is all about if recipient first name. We want, we've got good news for you, comma, and their first name. The else part of the conditional logic statement is telling Pardoc what to do if there isn't a default it isn't a value there so we want them to say we've got good news for you and then end the greeting when you create a conditional logic statement it's important to remember to do the curly brackets forward slash if to close the statement so to show you what this looks like we'll go and preview as a prospect so using the drop down here, we'll firstly view as test, as we know we haven't got a recipient first name for them. So here we can see they received this version. We've got good news for you. But say we want to view as Tom, and we know we've got his first name in our records. He will instead receive, we've got good news for you, comma, space, his first name, Tom, exclamation mark. When you create a conditional logic statement, it's important to remember that it makes a one-to-one -one replacement for an empty field value. However, if we've already specified a default value for a field and then set up conditional logic statements, the default value will populate instead. Always remember to test both versions as the conditional logic statement produces two versions of our email, one which is personalized, as this is, and then one which is just formatted correctly, as we saw earlier. 